Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to go over implicitly typed variables and explicitly typed variables. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have our var keyword, our variable name, and our string. This is nothing new, we've seen this. However, this is an implicitly typed variable because it is assuming the data type. See it says var um, and then it can already tell, hey it's a string because of what we got right here. Now an explicitly typed variable would be to explicitly say that this is a string. So string my URL, we're gonna change the, uh, the capitalization and then we'll just call it whatever. So here we have an implicitly typed variable and an explicitly typed variable. So why would we do this over this? Well, one reason, and the first reason I can think of off the top of my head is we can actually make this a constant. So let's say we wanted our URL to be um, constant throughout the entire application. So if I reference my URL, I don't want to accidentally reassign it or I don't want anybody to go in and reassign it um, one way or another. So the way we would do that is to, is to put the const keyword in front. So we can say const right here and now we have a constant variable. However, if we try and do it here, we get an error. It says represents text as a sequence implicitly typed variables cannot be constant. So that means we can't actually have this. We would need to get rid of this and explicitly say that this is a string in order for this to actually work. All right, so that is essentially the um, what a implicitly typed variable is and an explicitly typed variable is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this makes sense. Um, and we were able to actually see a good use case using the const keyword. So I'm grateful you guys joined me for this one and I hope to see you in the next one.